Oh, by the way, uh, apparently it's Christmas Eve tonight. Or not Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. Uh, I will not be drinking tonight. I do not drink alcohol. I never developed a taste for it. <laughs> I obviously, so I mean, I guess it's a Canada thing or probably an everywhere thing, but you know, you get drunk when you were <laughs> much younger. So I think the first time I got drunk was in the eighth grade. And uh, it was off of, I forget what kind of, it was off hard liquor, but I forget what kind. I went to my friend's house in the same neighborhood. We had some liquor from his dad's uh, liquor cabinet. Um, yeah, so I would have been 12 or 13 then. Um, what am I trying to say here? But yeah, I mean, even before I got out of high school, so the drinking age here is 18 or 19, I think, 19. So I lost my taste for alcohol even before it I was legally allowed to, to drink it. So, you know, I just, I drank too much one night and I was throwing up a lot, crazy drunk. And I just, I, you know, ever since then I smell, I just smell alcohol and it's just complete turn off. Don't even want to have it anywhere near me. But yeah, I used to drink on the weekends in high school and uh, eighth grade, not 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 on the weekends. Drinking in eighth grade was like sort of a rare experience, I guess. Yeah, don't don't drink, kids. <laughs> don't don't do drugs, kids. I'm just letting you know about my experience. Luckily, nothing happened to me, at least. But yeah, last time I drank, I believe, was over 20 years ago. Um, no, no, that's not true. Sorry. Um, so, okay, I drank in... Uh, I had a Jack and Coke. I think I mentioned this on the video series before. In I believe it was 20, 2012. 2012 or 20... Yeah, 2012. I had one Jack and Coke. I still actually have the Jack Daniels in my cupboard there. Uh, but, but it sort of gave me a headache. Um, so it, the, the, like the whiskey, whiskey is like the only thing I, I can drink. I can, I can stomach wine is the worst because that's what I was drinking when I, when I got really sick that one night, uh, wine and vodka. And, uh, so yeah, whiskey was always my favorite beer. I never d developed a taste for beer. It was always disgusting. It was just, yeah, I, I, I could never drink that. Always gross, especially the dark stuff, like the lager stuff. I don't understand how can, how people don't even drink that. It's fucking disgusting. Not just the lager, just all beers. Beer is just gross. But yeah, um, so I, I had a drink, 2011, 2012, one drink. I got a headache and I was, I decided, nah, I'm not gonna do this anymore. And, but before that, I believe it was in the year 2001. So when I moved, wait a minute. No, it was actually before then. So I moved to Newfoundland in 1997, moved back to Sudbury in 1999. 1999. So it was actually night the year 1999. Wow, that's crazy. That's the last time I drank because I, I moved back to, to Sudbury. I was hanging out with my, the friends I used to have like two years prior when I used to live in Sudbury. I lived in Sudbury, 95 to 97. Then I moved to St. John's, Newfoundland from 97 to 99. And then I moved back to Sudbury. So I hung out with the same friends I used to have in between 95 and 97 in Sudbury. Uh, but we sort of grew apart. We had different interests. In it. But the first time when I went to a party when I came back with them and I had some... I think we had some beer there. It's pretty gross, though. And I believe, yeah, yeah, I did have beer because I threw up uh, that night. I never threw up from from whiskey, though. So that was that was always my favorite.
What's the point of the story? New Year's Eve. I will be staying up until 12. I haven't heard any fireworks. I guess it is, yeah, it is supposed to be snowing tonight, so I don't know if anyone's going to be outside. It's also winter. <laughs> you never know, though. 